my friends. Before I go, happy Thanksgiving to my Canadians celebrating today. Lots of love to all of you. There's much more ahead on HLN, though. Today, a big day. We welcome Erica Hill to the family with her new show, On the Story with Erica Hill. Paul Ryan saying he will no longer defend Donald Trump, and we are on the story. He says instead he's going to spend the next month focusing on congressional races. Breaking news out of Florida, where police are desperately searching for a kidnapped four-year-old girl. According to authorities, Rebecca Lewis was taken from her home in Lakeland Saturday morning while she was sleeping. Police say the suspect is a former family friend, and the two have been spotted in Tennessee and in Georgia. We'll have an update from the sheriff in just a moment. More than a thousand people are stranded in North Carolina after Hurricane Matthew. Officials calling this the worst flooding they've seen since Hurricane Floyd in 1999. Parts of at least three interstates are closed and all of this as another major storm could be about to hit that state. Thanks for joining us. I'm Erica Hill. Our top story today, the presidential debate throughout this campaign. We've often wondered just when things got so nasty between the language and even the topic. Welcome to Pitch Pitch on Zardom, where we talk directly to the media and find out how we can pitch shows best. I'm Cass and Don, CMO of Zardom, and we have Jen DeMarchi, CEO of Zardom. We're, we're both longtime publicists. Here with us today is Jennifer Williams, executive producer of On the Story with Erica Hill a daily news program launching Monday, October 10th on HLN from 1 to 3 Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for being with us, Jennifer. Thank you for having me. Um, so we're, yes, we're super excited to talk to you and to find out um, as much as we can, and we'd love you to be as detailed and as specific about things you'd like to cover on the show, things you want to stay away from, um, and just to give our, our Zarda members a real sense of um, what you're looking for. So I'll kind of kick it off with a broad question and just say, tell us about the new show. It sounds really exciting. Well, thank you. So I think it is going to be excited. I'm ex uh, exciting. I'm excited about it. So this two hours is going to be, we want to make it so that if you're watching the two hours, you're getting everything that you need. It's almost like daily, getting your daily vitamins of news and that um, you should feel like you've got enough info about politics, about health, um, a little less about international news, and we're going to be more domestic. But if there's a big enough story that we think our audience is going to uh, need to know and get information about, it'll have it. It'll be like um, going on a cruise and then it'll be like a buffet of news stories that um, impact most of our audience. So um, it'll be, there'll be medical, health, politics, uh, government, um, and some feature stories, you know, feel-good stories, uh, stories that really make you feel whether you're upset, angry, or happy. And it's all going to be delivered, you know, through Erica Hill, who to me is so um, relatable, in, whether it's a story that's tragic, fun. I mean, Erica has such a witty uh, sense of humor uh, and at the same time is so smart with topics that sometimes – most people would feel intimidated by, and sometimes that's politics, sometimes that's government issues, um, health insurance. She, she's going to want to not dumb it down to make it understandable for everybody, and she's a mom of two kids. She works. You know, she's, she's a, lot of, a lot of us, whether, and she's, you know, married. She has to juggle the, the life of, um, you know, babysitting, getting a babysitter. Her husband travels. Uh, just like most people, whether you're working at home or not, you're juggling. And so she understands, you know, un reading the stories and trying to understand them so that the audience uh, gets it in a concise, meaningful way and will explain why it matters to our audience. It's not just here's the info, but why it matters to you. So will you move through, like, with how the show will be set up, or will you go into – Hard news that, you know, at the top of the show, because I think basically getting right down to it, so many of our members, you know, rep authors and chefs and 
beauty, you know, products and like how yeah. how can we fit lifestyle into so, your show? In general, so you understand, um, the format of the show is going to be when you say hard news to me, that's it's all relative because hard news to someone could be. Um, you know, let's put aside the hurricane today. It could be, you know, the politics. But hard news to someone else is going to be the latest on what Kim Kardashian uh, is doing today and what happened to her since Paris. The other day we led our show with the Brangelina divorce. So I feel nowadays it's all become relative what hard news is. Um, and so, but it's going to be the news, the biggest news that people are talking about at the start of the show. We're going to start with a whole bunch of story tells to let people know we've got so many stories we want to tell you about. So we're not going to... Um, have 10 minutes of one story for the first 10 minutes because we want to pepper people with a lot, and I mean pepper in that in a good way, to give a lot of information right away. Um, more In that respect, we're going more to our traditional headline news. Um, but in every block after that, we have headlines at the start of every block after a break, but we're going to have time for a segment in every block. And what I mean by segment will be anywhere between three to six minutes, and that's going to be from usually the news of the day. But so the news of the day, and we jump off, doctor on, yesterday we, we did a story on women taking birth control and how they're depressed. So doctors are definitely going to be, we want it in our repertoire. We need lawyers for sure. Um, Erica is very big on health and eating. She loves to eat organic food. She's very, but you know, organic food, but she knows how much that costs, how hard it is to go to a special store to get it. So we won't do cooking segments, but we will do segments with uh, guests talking about uh, tips on how you can do this affordably or uh, where it doesn't take too much time. Uh, we'll also want uh, almost branding experts in that, you know, how are Brangelina going to revamp their, um, their, uh, their, their kind of like images, their images. Now, yeah. mm-hmm. um, So that's really important. Or um, definitely, you know, political analysts, but branding, uh, medical doctors for sure, um, a therapist almost on a daily basis. Um, uh, what about new me? authors sort of handling it? Like with entertainment, are you looking for like new contributors from, you know, interesting entertainment blogs or like are you look? how are you so yeah, I think your... that's even, I'm, I'm glad you brought up entertainment because that's a big one for us because entertainment has become, for some stories, it is the, the hard news or the main news. So we have some people here at CNN, but at the same time, we do use a lot of entertainment uh, bloggers for whether we do royal stories, whether we do Brangelina, or, um, you know, to also hear what people online are saying. So entertainment will definitely be on that list. Also, and so are you, I'm sorry, are you going to be looking for people to come on from, say, you know, editors from, like, Hollywood Reporter, Variety, and, and things of that nature? Yes. Rolling Stone. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Also, one I didn't want to forget is, you know, parenting is going to be a big um, topic for us. So, you know, parenting uh, blogger parents uh, or someone who can, you know, relate to what it's like being a parent and having small kids versus having teenagers and learning the whole dynamics of social media and school and learning it yourself as a parent, relearning everything. I'm just dealing with, you know, just dealing with kids and how it's changing so fast and how do you – and then also just like, you know, today we could have done something or this week on politics and kids and do you let them watch – the debate on Sunday because depending on how old they are, they might think this is, you know, this is what president, it's too crass, it's too mean, or do you let them watch because this is a political system and you want them to get involved. So um, parenting is going to be very important for us as well. What about demo segment? Like, like as it pertains to things like these are toys that will educate your kid and like having a toy expert from Parenting Magazine talk about, the top five toys for holiday. Like, would I you do anything like that? Um, I'm not going to say no, especially during the holidays, of course, but that's going right. to be very low on the list. Okay. So, in general, everything really needs to relate back to the, the news of the day. It does, because one example of a demo we might do uh, is, you know, like the, when the new Samsungs and the new iPhones come out. Now, that is, you know, so newsworthy that we would do a demo with someone – either remotely or with her in New York, that we would do. But, again, that relates back to it's so it's happening now and it's in the news. Okay, so you will do remotes. Um, it, it's not all in studio. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, obviously, you know, we'd love to have people in studio with her. It's better to relate, but no, I mean, we easily do Atlanta, New York, and, uh, I mean, if she can't come into the studio, but L.A. is a big one in studios, absolutely. Oh, yeah. And will you do tape, will she do any tape segments? Um, we're not, it's, it's just, it's a little hard for us to do tape segments, so we'd, um, ideally would all be live. Okay. And are you, is your producing team both in New York and Atlanta, or where, where the, the majority kind of, of the team, the majority of the team is, uh, in Atlanta, and that's where all the kind of like down and dirty producers are gonna be. We have some producers in New York, but it's more to, uh, coordinate around Erica. So right, because the show is live out of your CNN, out of CNN New York bureau. It is. Eric is there, but the producers in the control room will be in Atlanta. And um, are you going to have guests, a celebrity guest on? Um, I mean, if we can get celebrity guests, absolutely. Again, um, but it, it, we don't want them just to. We want them just to promote a movie because other shows on HLN, like uh, Michaela, has a lot of that. So we don't want to step on their toes, and since we're more um, news-oriented, I think those celebrities will fall more into Robin or Michaela's powers. Got it. Experts to you, like, if, you know, if they want to start being a contributor, how would you like that process to happen? So you can send it to me and our two bookers, um, which I can send their names. Or the two booker, We have two bookers on the show. One is in New York. And one okay. is in Atlanta. Should people who want to be contributors to the show, should they send you a reel of some of their other broadcast appearances? So when you say contributor, to be on the show or, like, to be recurring? I would say um, both, to be honest with you. So um, I, would, I, would, um, I would love, like, um, yeah, like a, a, or one or two links of what they've done before. And then also, you know, if we like that, then what we would really do, the best test, is getting them on the show one time with Erica just to see, you know, what the rapport is, how they are. Because, you know, sometimes we get a lot of links from YouTube, and they're great, and then it's different with that, that person. But, yeah, a link, link or two would be great. You don't have a studio audience, correct? Correct. We do not. Okay. Are you, gonna be, are you interested if any of, our, of the czars have clothing brands, would um, Erica be interested in being dressed for the show? No. Okay. Not at this point. And in Are you going to be doing any giveaways or anything of that sort? Uh, it's that that's down. That would be down a few phases, so not right now. Okay. Right. Beauty. Beauty. Um, would you cover, you know, ways to stay young, or would, or would it have to have like a science twist that there's a new ingredient? I think it would. Get it yeah. Now. We're not just going to do um, buy kits to, to look better in the morning, but we would do a couple months ago there was a university who said, you know, a new wrinkle cream that literally that is a, that became a news story. But other than that, like the top five tips on uh, from Alert, no, we won't do that. Or like okay. various, what if like, I don't know, like health hacks, I guess there was like health hacks or beauty hacks. You wouldn't touch on kind no. of more quirky things like that. No. No. Okay, so again, it's, everything really needs to be tied to a news hook. And yeah, I mean, I think it's, like, it's just it's just so important that way, and that's because I don't want to take you down a um, the wrong road, but it really it's, it's got to be tied to the, the news. And so, um, luckily, this day and age, everything's happening in the news, but we're not afraid to do you know the entertainment news either. Like also, do anything with liquor since your table. Oh, you mean uh, oh, you mean um, um, have like wine on the table. Or, no, just, like, even just segments, you know, just, like, but, you know, rosé is, like, huge right now. No. I mean, okay. the closest we've come so far is, I don't know if you know, the Chardonnay lady. She had this great, uh, she did a great, uh, like, um, takeoff of the Pokemon. So instead of looking for Pokemon Go, she was looking for her Chardonnay Go. So we had her <laughs> on, and she brought wine, and it was hysterical. And we've used her since as a comedian. But that, again, became news, and, you know, the Chardonnay mom. But by itself, no. And that would be, again, in the earlier shows. Top of the show chatter, like these are just funny, like, you know, hot topics of the morning, you know, just like odds and ends. We, um, no, I mean, we're going to bump in with stuff like sometimes, you know, what happened in the late show last night, 
but probably not that. I mean, we, okay. the, you know, we, the, what, how we would use that is if, all, you know, it's like we've done stories about how red wine makes you live longer. Uh, we would do that. Or like they say champagne now is there something about helps your memory. We would do that and have fun with it. But, it, again, that's because it's, a, it's you know, it's newsy. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much for your time, Jennifer, and uh, good luck on Monday. I had fun talking with you the other day, and thank you for calling me today. Great.